Hello and welcome back to Space Engineers. My name is Rabenschild and as you can see, we are back in space. I decided that I need a bit of, a, don't know, atmosphere change. I need my zero G again. I'm struggling with the Earth like planet. It's, it's not funny. I find it funny. Kind of. It, it isn't because the Earth like planet I cannot tell you how that at the moment works out for me. The the Earth-like planet gives me anxiety. <laughs> I have the feeling the the whole thing right now doesn't work out for me. Every build there I start and then I don't come to the conclusion I want. The good thing is that we could get the mining machine to work, so we know that thing is kind of finished functionally so it works and after that i struggled uh, that's by the way why last week there was no video i i didn't know what to do i worked on a station and the landing shelter for the for the mining rig and it, it, there is something but i don't know i i needed to get my head out of this and I made a bit of a test to see one thing that I wanted to test after the mining machine was done. I attached a weight below one of the vector thrust crafts to test if the vector thrust craft would uh, go down. And it didn't. I attached with a connector and it worked. So there was only the, the 0 0.01 uh, meter per second movement in whatever direction and I, I'm really happy about this because the the whole thing yeah gives me the gives me the the assurance that I can build other vector thrust craft to for example work as um, don't know rover uh, transports or something like that. I can transport rovers from space to orbit by using vector thrust. And I need to test that, but it could be that the normal craft wouldn't work too well there. But that's one thing we will have to see how, however that works out. out. For now, I want to work a bit in space here. I have an idea that I want to uh, what want to introduce to maybe find more things to explore. What did I want to do? I wanted to do something and now I forgot it. For one, I will reload my batteries and the H2. And then did I want to grab anything? I wanted to grab some things. Um, I have an idea that hopefully gives me some more things to explore. We will see how that how that in the end works out, but I ah, I, I have something that I want to build and I think it would be a lot more fun right now to me than to, I don't know to struggle on the earth like planet and do stuff there. I'm, I'm sure people wanted to see things on the Earth like and I'm I'm sorry that yeah I cannot really provide right now but I again it's otherwise I would just force myself to do things that I really don't want to do. So um yeah I'm I'm sorry that the, the earth like right now doesn't work out for me. I need to go out there. Um, I think I'm running low on cargo here. But it's just it's just not possible. I I just can't can't force myself to do certain things there. I'm in in the meantime I found out that with the base there I'm I'm not the, the whole size of the base there is not right and the layout of the, of the base is right now not the thing I want to see so it's uh, it's 
hard. It's hard on me. I have all these, these first world problems of struggling with uh, getting, getting things done the way they should be. And that's, that's something that definitely needs to, needs to change. There is components here. So why, why am I not storing anymore? Uh, let me get some, so large car container 12. Large cargo and then 12. Custom data, grab this. Ah, come. Okay, so this, and then I have to see if it's implemented here. It is implemented, so NDS should uh, use the stuff and and put it into other containers. Maybe it's maybe it's not splitting it up, uh, or I need to restart it. So I need another build area and for the the other build area I decided that I want to put it on top of the asteroid and so we will go to the corridor I've drilled out here in the back I need ways around <laughs> the the walkways give, get far too long right now the base is just too big for one person alone. So I've drilled out this thing here and okay, come on. And I want to take this corridor up to the surface of the asteroid to bring in another, another layer of off station kind of okay i need just a i need just a few blocks distance from the wall here maybe three and then i want to bring in another elevator that will bring us up through the asteroid to the surface and from there i can branch out maybe but the first thing I want to build is an observatory. I have the feeling that we should be on the lookout for more things out there. And that an observatory would benefit us in a way where we can uh, hopefully, don't know, explore the galaxy a bit more and as we are not only space engineers, we are out here to, I think, figure out some, I'm not sure, the, the figure out the, the secrets, the secrets of this, this uh, space system here. And uh, yeah, to do that, we need the necessary scientific, uh, scientific resources and an observatory definitely is something that we need okay i hope i can get this all airtight so ooh, okay i need to keep a bit here in the beginning so that i can go up to the roof of this corridor because there should be Yes. There should be a conveyor connection we can use um, to go from here to here. Okay, then some blocks to here. Maybe one down and then 
another junction. But first, we drill out up top here. One thing I want to do is, yeah, again, in my in my vacation, and we will see how prolonged the vacation from the planet will be. Um, I will try to fix up this station a lot more. It's it's funny how the different the different surroundings kind of give me different ideas. So the whole the whole space thing um, gives me more ideas than, than to stay on the earth like i had a lot more fun building and figuring out some new stuff in different in other environments and one of these is space i i like to to work in in space here in in space engineers it's called space engineers and not uh nice warmth and uh, all the air you can want. Engineers, it's called Space Engineers. And another environment is Mars. So they are my muses when it comes to Space Engineers. So that's that's the, the directions I want to go in again. Um, Mars should be also again, should be again on the on the menu that's that's one thing and after the success with the vector thrust i have the feeling that i need to also visit the alien planet again the alien planet has our helicarrier and our helicarrier deserves a bit more work I want to test if Vector Thrust can drop, get the rid of this, this drop problem that we have with connected grids. After I test it, that, that I can also have the same effect with something that is just connected with, 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 with a connector. It should be possible to maybe attach some thrusters to the helicarrier and maybe made it, make it possible that these thrusters keep the, the helicarrier aloft, aloft. And that's one thing I definitely want to test in, in the near future too. Um, I've written that down somewhere. I, I, not, not that I would find that now, but uh, yeah. I, I, it's so hard. I try to record this episode now for, I don't know, four or f I think six times. And I always just deleted the footage that I had because I wouldn't know what to do and I wouldn't know what to say. And as soon as I'm back in space, don't know it it flows a lot better i'm i'm working a lot better out here okay we just need a small corridor that leads to this elevator here and i don't want to make it too big for now we can eventually maybe go and um make the whole thing wider but for now, I just, again, want to have one corridor that leads to an elevator. Um, the, the bigger I go with the station, the crazier the problems with, um, with the simulation speed will be, and, 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 and. So keeping new stuff to a minimum right now I think should be the way to go 
Okay, I want to f keep this in. And then open it up, drill out. Uh, I want to drill out a corridor just up through the rock. So the 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 whole elevator will just move through. Yeah, through the through the stone kind of it. <clears throat> I'm wondering if I can put some lights on somehow. The elevator doesn't have its own, so maybe having some lights. Maybe I can put some on the elevator shaft. We'll have to see how that works out. Good. Um, I need a way out for now. Okay, let us drill this open. And so that I have a way up top. Okay. I think I will have to pull the elevator behind me to see if I'm going straight up. Uh, on the other hand, the whole shaft can be just bigger. If it's a bit crooked, that's okay too. Um, good, let me drill up and I will meet you back when I'm on the surface. Energy. This all is taking a lot longer than I thought. I'm <laughs> drilling here like crazy. But the asteroid might be too much to chew for me right now. So, um, uh, you can see that I'm... I'm coming along well with these two... with these two high elevator shafts. That's... A really nice thing that's in there. Um, I I was able to attach some lights to the shaft so that we maybe even have some lights while going up to the surface here. And with that, I'm I have to see where I come out and how high I still need to go. I could just... don't know, should I just drill up relatively straight and then think about it later or... Oh, okay, that's problematic. If I can just go up, I might be able to just take one of the stations on the outside. Okay, we are coming into normal stone again. That's always a good sign. There's ice. I hope I'm... Nope. I'm absolutely not straight. So let us... Let us keep on going with the... With the placement there. That's not nice. Uh, that needs to be drilled out a bit, so I can fit through there a lot better. The, the whole plan, again, is to have another layer up top. And then be able to set some things up there. But this whole base here is completely unfinished. They're not completely unfinished. There's so many things I really need to do. And, don't know, it's the same for everything. I'm kind of searching for input. I need to change my ways a bit, how to deal with, with the base. Um, I need to, <laughs> I saw a lot of, a lot of YouTubers started up to um, ask uh, their audience uh, how they should continue certain things. I don't want to completely do that, but having more input on anything would be nice. So you, you all, by the way, can say something, don't know, about me 
not wanting to be on the earth like anymore and i i know that a lot of you will be just supportive and will say we don't care build wherever you want to build because uh yeah you need to have fun otherwise it will not be enjoying to watch it anyways but uh the whole thing is that uh it definitely i want to hear something about that maybe somebody says maybe fight through this and i don't know then uh the ideas will come or there's a suggestion for um how to continue with the base on the earth like something like that i'm i'm not sure it's just everything is up up to anything i'm just happy now that i don't know i can i can build stuff here again the uh, the the i have certain again i have certain projects that that need my attention more i have the feeling than the earth like <laughs> it's, it's so weird <laughs> people people we could say i'm not a big fan of the earth like planet uh it's when it comes to for, from mars or something like that we 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 i mm, in in my mind mars needs to be an empty desert mars is the mars like planet is an empty desert that uh, that that don't know that that needs cultivating so building bases there has a lot more to it than to yeah okay there's the earth like i can open my helmet uh set up a small house somewhere something i built on on fundland the completely like I built on Funtland. It's just a small house. Bit of power. Ah, that's nice. <laughs> but I started to build a crazy big base there. And the problem I have with it is right now that there is no real purpose for the base. So maybe that's something that that I can... that you can give suggestions on. What should it be? Again, I assumed it could be something like a capital, but maybe there's there's another idea. Have have this base as <sighs> yeah. Again, not to not to process anything or just small things. Um, I, I'm not sure if I have a purpose for it, and really a purpose would be nice. I'm, I'm really not good with with the aesthetics. As building aesthetics, that's that's something I'm struggling with uh, on on the earth. Like I think I dug myself there into a hole. Ah, uh, Seth, he says that while digging up through an asteroid <laughs> but i think i dug myself into a hole on the earth like and that needs that needs fixing somehow um, it's again it's as a as a test base and i i could use it as something like that as a test base set up things there i want to like on like to use on planets and uh not sure what the problem is it's now so easy to go to everywhere and just test out in person. <laughs> I'm not sure. Ah, good. Okay. Um, I will continue a bit more just to... I wanted to just keep myself uh, awake <laughs> recording here because otherwise I, I break through the surface and completely forget to continue anything here <laughs> that's a uh, life of an asteroid miner digging the whole day broke through the surface now i'm bringing up a conveyor line 
so that we hopefully can establish a stable platform up there. It's... I'm so sorry that this video is so rambly, but again, I'm, I'm struggling. <laughs> it's, Space Engineers is giving me a hard time when it comes to my world at the moment. And yeah, I need to I need to stop complaining right now. I need to stop working. More work needs to be done. So especially because I I tomorrow today saw that my subscriber numbers are still going up and I'm so happy about that that people that people still join me and or now, I don't know, it's, it's something like a seal broke. It was a lot quicker a few weeks ago, but now there's still, there's still people joining, joining me. Ooh, need to go down again because we need to go and have a built and repair system somewhere here. So we need to... We'll hide that thing behind the conveyor line. But that's what I need right now. So, would you please finish this? Come on. I hope I'm... But it built the stuff up until here. So maybe it just takes a while until the build and repair system comes to up here. Good. Change this and then. Okay, turn that one more in. And now we have to wait. Hopefully that works out. Maybe I can get a bit more space around here could test out oh i could test out something something new i have brought in where are we by the way oh that's nice i wanted to be somewhere around here i i hoped for that i don't know come come out up top here but i might flatten this out this area a bit because this looks just like something attached itself to the to uh, the asteroid there. Okay, do I have? Uh, I don't have. Hopefully that works. I've brought in again. I have. I'm. I'm always changing out more. Okay. Okay, something something came to the station and got destroyed. Okay, I don't have enough space for that. But did you see that I have easy inventory installed? Um, the mod I saw the mod or learned to use the mod in on fun servers or on Funland. And I have to say that I really like that thing. If I had easy inventory before, I'm not sure how, <laughs> if I really had sunk so much time into, not so much time, if I had used the built and repair system so much. Let me take a look. I think I need some motors. That was a thing. Okay, let us take a look. So that sh should hopefully finish the build, re build and repair system here. And also the conveyor junction. Good. And yes. Good thing. Now let us find this. Turn that on. And then fly mode. I want it grind before weld. You have seen that so many times. Yeah, the the easy inventory makes my life 
a whole lot better. A whole lot better. Um, on the server, it's a it's a god end because I <laughs> on the server I'm dealing with the fact that I miss the build and repair system. If I would have to pick everything, <laughs> everything just part by part, I would go crazy. I would absolutely go crazy. Okay, six. We will go up. Continue to go up until we see the... Until we come closer towards the surface here. And then I want to establish a bit of a, a platform here that we can set everything on. And again, another thing I want to do is remove the bump up there. That needs to go. Okay, that's all in the way. I think we need to call in the big guns, uh, tiered ship systems, and then go for it. Where is my miner? There. So... Uh, three... We will come in here and then just... The range of this is just... I'm not sure. Sometimes I think it is maybe a bit too crazy. But on the other hand, it removes material and that's really fast. So maybe I can just accept that. Good. Okay, the miner stays here for a moment. Where's the other? I had my other miner here too. There. Ooh, that was... That was scary. I nearly rammed that thing. <laughs> okay, then. Drill this out. I will go, I think, up. One. Two. Three. Is that too high? No, that's good. We will go up this much. And then we start... A bit of a platform here. And from this platform out, I'm I'm branching out then. It gives the asteroid another another part that looks added on, that looks as if someone yeah, someone as I did. I needed to have different different parts on that whole thing on that whole station and so it's the best way to yeah i don't know to to deal with it build out what you need the one on the alien planet i i went too crazy with the um, that's too uh too much of a too much of a big build here okay we need the conveyor spec and then elevate uh, and have the top, the elevated top. And I think this is the right side, yes. Okay, then this is where the, the conveyor comes in. And we just continue this up. Uh, I don't have any more interior plates. Let me grab that. This, this is one of these fighters, the, the swept wing fighters you, you can find. Um, I don't know how that thing ended up here. There was, there was a a drone spawn or relative uh, relatively close to us the last time we were up here um, maybe um, it came from there but why 
And how should it end up on the other side? Because as far as I know, the whole thing was somewhere over there. How should it end up in here? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, it's good that something, something shot it down. That's what I need. The security that my base can fend for itself. Okay, a cargo container. G cargo. Small cargo container. And the usual... Uh, the survival kit up here. No, what am I doing? This. And then a survival kit up here. That helps me... Why is this not being done? Can weld up here, so... What's missing? Missing. Missing. Today, today, <laughs> today I'm... I'm speech impaired, I have the feeling. Uh, uh, I also need to establish the the lights down there and then I'm not sure I think I will put up a dome structure up here kind of this will be the outer edges and from here I can have uh, walkways going into into the different directions I'm Thinking about setting up the observatory somewhere here or there. This part will lead to something else. Uh, and this, this path could lead back into the asteroid. I'm, I'm not sure yet. That, that will come later. Okay, seven. Get this. Weld up this. Then what do we what else do we need? Metal grid, bulletproof glass. <sighs> and computer? Ah, uh, come on. This Computers, bulletproof glass. I want to see if this thing works already. Oh, um, another thing I might want to have up here is G graphity, graphity, and then have that turn to the outside. Come on, weld that up. Why are you not working? You should be absolutely close enough to deal with everything here. Or is something... No, the line is green. So everything... should work out. Or it takes a while <laughs> until the stuff is up here. <laughs> that could be the case too. <laughs> Okay, change this around. And now let us see if the lift works. That's the first thing that should happen. That might take a while. <laughs> that really might take a while until this thing is up here. Come on. Oh no, it takes so long. But it's a lift. It's it's better than nothing. It's better than nothing. <laughs> Think about it. If I would do that with stairs. Ah, no. What did I set the, the elevator piston to? There was an elevator piston. It seems that the elevator changed a bit.
That takes so much time. Ah, okay, we <laughs> let me let me go and fly into it and take a look because there's an elevator piston that uh, that maybe needs setting up now. Um, in earlier versions, there was a dedicated block for the for the different speeds of the elevator, and this time there was nothing like that. So. I'm not sure if the elevators might have changed so that that it needs setting up now. Let us find that out. Come on. All these airlocks. <laughs> I have all these airlocks in here because the smaller the room is, the better the air tightness works. And it... It makes me go crazy at the moment. Okay, this is turned on. It's two meters. So we will go to seven meters. A second. Uh, we will turn off the music because I'm always... I always have the feeling that it... Oh, cabin lights! Oh, can I bring that up? Um, I always have the feeling that it... Okay, now I need to bring that down again. But it should be quicker now. Uh, what did I want to say? That with the music on at one point, I might end up getting copyright striked or something like that. Uh, because... Oh, yes! Uh, emergencies? Oh! Oh, that's... Oh, we don't need the lights! Okay, we need the lights. It's still it's still the helmet that that makes more more lighting in here. But they they worked ah, VZZ worked more on the elevator. Good, nice. That works out fine. Now I have another space up here I can build in. And that hopefully brings don't know my my <laughs> my how is that my meter I want to find the the right word the my attention meter no that's that's the the wrong word the brings down the the anxiety I have with building on the earth like planet and all that stuff um it hope I hope it just just fixes the the problems I have with that and just brings me back to to enjoying enjoying all of this here right now <laughs> again it's i lost a bit of the excitement of building and i have that far more in space with ships with stations and again on mars i had the same that on mars i thought man it feels good to build here maybe maybe it's the gravity the less gravity there is, the, the better it is. So, <laughs> I don't know. Good people, but I think I will end it for today. Again, I tried it for six times to record this video and it's late and I want to bring the video out today. So, I have to still edit it and then render it and then upload it and all that stuff. So, people, I would say uh, thanks for watching. Hope you like this a bit rambly episode, but uh, I hope I I could make that all right with uh, building the elevator and having having something like that and starting starting up a, a few new things here that hopefully uh, gave you a bit of enjoyment and yeah uh, again give me. 
don't know. Give, tell me, tell me what you think about uh, not being on Earth again. If if that's okay for you, uh, what you what you, what you would do when it comes to that? How would you solve that problem? Would you go in and force yourself, or do you think it's good to just step away for a moment, do something else? Maybe maybe you have some some ideas for that. Good people, thanks for watching. Hope you liked the episode. If you did, then please leave a like on the video. Um, yeah, take a look at the description. There's all the links to some of the some of the things: uh, Twitter, Patreon, uh, the channel, the playlist, the mod list, and all that stuff. Take a look at that, and I hope to see you in the next video. See ya, guys.